The celebration of the Queen's return had ended. The packs had been made, and the party was ready to set off to fix whatever the demons had so easily broken. Jesus. So, okay. What's our party now? Okay. Okay, so, so we have... We can yeah, we can get out. rid of... We can leave the Queen behind. That seems like a really good idea. And do you want Elf Shooter instead of Dora? Uh, I mean, I like Dora. They're both good is the problem. If anything, I'd take out Ramus and put Saren in the front row and put our Elf Shootsman back there. Alright. Because he... Elf Shootsman's good at one person. Dora's getting good at rows of people. Yeah. Alright, let's give it a go. Uh, what is training with Brezza? Oh, yeah. What is... We, it's all Garbo. We just have, like... Yeah, the same stuff we've had before, pretty much. Straight Garbo. Oh, is this better for him? The Sonic Sword? No, the same. It's the same. Yeah. I mean, it's a cooler picture. It does have a cooler picture. What's, uh... What's our boy's... Oh, that's not our, uh, our other boy. Where is other boy? What the fuck? How do we... Oh. God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> our boy... Has a fine crossbow. That's the same thing we've same got. Same thing we've got. All right. All right, what's training with so Brezza? First off, we should save our game. Yes, absolutely. So we have not saved in quite a while. I am happy with how stable this is. I want to shop. Well, oh, I wasn't expecting it to be, like, a load on, on the system or anything. Well, uh, you don't have to be a load to be unstable. That's true. Um, Spear of Souls. Yeah, for the lady that we never use. Yeah, I'm sad that we specced her wrong, because I really love spear fighters. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I don't think we need any of this. Probably not. Like, check um, Dora for that. Minus six, minus four. Yeah, no, nothing there. Um, like. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. A fine steel mace will. Short what is, sword. What Thanos? does he currently have that these are so much better? Standard two. Oh, and then we get into two handers. Broadsword is plus two. Yeah, sure. Standard longsword. No. Yeah. So let's sell our garbage. Uh, Loren. Nope. Well, not for her main hand, but for her off hand, I bet. Because her off hand is 14. And this is 18. No, oh, alright, yeah. <clears throat> oh, we haven't seen another use for money. Well, uh, maybe armor? How's our uh, armor? Yeah. We are we are not armored. We didn't even put on our magic fancy magic armor. That's true. Um, yeah, so that, that should probably be on uh, our wizard. The cloth armor. Open inventory. Oh, he has like a mantle thing. Gives him two defense. And what is the... Uh... Uh, this one gives you four defense and magic and attack. Alright. All right. Let's maybe try to armor up our tank a bit. Plate helm, thirteen defense. Jesus, it seems uh, useful. Yeah, because he doesn't like a lot of them. He doesn't have a hat. Yeah, it's like dude's defense is now fucking great. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Uh... I thought it shows me his stats anywhere. It's the 
chainmail is 16. He's got a big ass tower shield. There we are. Attack 43, defense 77. Um, if our boy's gonna be in the front row, we should probably get him some uh, armor too. Well, yeah. What is he wearing at the moment? Um, does he? He does have a hat. He has a hat. It's uh, six, three. I'll yeah. So he doesn't right have, here. but he's not wearing pants or boots. Yeah. So pants and boots are a uh, probably a good start. All right. So he is proficient with chain. So pants give him, these pants would give him a plus four. Mm-hmm. And these boots would give him a plus seven. Uh, yeah. Those sound like a good investment. And those boots would make him, light sandals would make him more stabby. Let's go with give him the boots and see if uh, Loren wants to wear those fancy sandals. Oh, she can't. No. Oh, they're light. Okay. Yeah, leather armor. Leather armor Kojak. Yeah, no. Shield's a little better. Um, and there isn't a better weapon for him, right? Mm -hmm. He's like gonna be the, swordy. The Thanos. We can get him the Thanos. But he's 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 an archer. No, he's in the front row now. Remember? Yeah, but he can still shoot the back row. Yeah, that's true. And he's like he's specced for archer. He's that's gonna true. be bad that's at stabbing. True. He's specced for he is spec for archer. Um, there's a ring here. Ring of defense, just plus five defense. Yeah, how much is that worth? 240, that's not 100, much. 180 yeah, bucks. Definitely. Equip. Alright, tanky man. You need a taunt. He's got one. He's got one? Alright. So. Um oh maybe he doesn't. Yeah. But we can we'll, 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 we'll get, get them ev we'll get there eventually. Alright. Um Yeah, plus seven damage. Yeah, I am pretty sure that's what that means, right? That's that seems to be what that means. Those shoot those shoes. Yep. Um, sweet. Just want to give a pair to. No. Um. All oh, these shoulders are just like a plus five defense for our boy here. Hmm. Shall we go for a walk? Let's see, uh... Yeah, let's... Leave the shop. Sell our Garbo. Hold on to that one. Turning with Braza. Actually, let's save first. Yes. Woo! No, 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 no. My no. Slaves. I won't go easy. I'm warning you. Uh, shall we choose not to fight slaves? Yeah, that seems wise. That seems great. Uh, castle? Commander Breza, you have served the Citadel well, I assume. I'm overjoyed at your return, Majesty, and not mentioning the part where I didn't want to go look for you, or... That's a very different attitude from before. Shut up. There's a sputtered in anger. What do you mean, Saren? She was quick to label you as dead and pass the crown to Loren. Karen and Brezza looked for each other, at each other for a moment until Brezza looked at the ground. I am sure Brezza had her reasons. 
And they were wise ones. You honor me. Skarn still felt uneasy with Reza, even though Karen had no issue with her. Alright. Shall we just go? Yep. Alright. Jesus. Ooh. Um. Uh, the hut? A hut and get shapeshifter or truth temple and get cha. Party hiked up Great Mount Kronos again, once again, in search of the monks they had encountered before. <clears throat> when they reached the top, they found a glorious temple covered in snow that they had already been to. That must be the Temple of Truth. We've no, been here. We've literally been here. We killed everyone who, who was inside it and got the prophesied sword and there was the glowing bit. And, uh, yeah, spent a lot of time sort of dissecting it's, it's the architecture the of it. Uh, let's press on and greet the monks. Hopefully they have a fire we can share. Ryu! Other Ryu! Dan, I guess, is other Ryu. Uh, at the temple doors, a couple of monks ushered the group inside and asked them to wait. Loren and Saren were just happy to be warm again. Around the corner came a familiar face with an all-too-familiar grin. If it isn't like my closest dudes come to distract me from my totally rad meditations. This is important business. It wouldn't have come otherwise. Ja. The world is at war, and we have agreed that the disciples of truth should be called on to help. Sazer became very serious at the news. So, time is like, come. He looked to the monks standing beside him. Tell the disciples to gather in the training hall. I like address them personally. Dude, dude. So you'll help. The monks will fight for us. Oh, no, dude. What, what, uh, hmm? Like, I mean, we all want to, like, go down to the mountain and, like, deliver some justice and truth, you know. But you're going to be fighting with, like, swords and shit? We like we, um... have our hands tied with other problems. Uh, we're, we're sort of best, you know, best suited at dealing with those rather than uh, whatever you're doing. Problems such as what? What are the monks tasked with taking care of? Well, like, the undead. Duh. Like necromancers, vampires, skeletons, zombies. The mountains are like totally their hangout. Um, and so like we keep them here and we punch them so that they don't overrun the cities. I was unaware. So we are starting that to That is an important cause. Yes, but the demons are a greater threat than that. The whole world might perish. Demons? Dude, has like the demon general risen again? Foster Lager does, like, the sickest cake stands. Sazer frowned and crossed his arms even more tightly in contemplation. It's like, it's bad, but, like, we took this vow, brah. You know how it is, man. Brombies before zombies. <laughs> Why are you letting things you only say keep you from doing what's right? Vows are not just words. They must be respected. Or you lose yourself in the music, in the moment. You own it. It's it's very important. Didn't you wander off? Didn't you, like, oh, like two days ago? Yeah, don't worry about it. I have, I have multiple vows. I'm a man with big shoulders. The gods don't give a man shoulders like this without letting him take on multiple vows. Then we all have to do... Then all we have to do is just get rid of all the undead. And you can leave the mountain. Dude. You're really trying my patience. Dude. Why are things not so simple? Do. <laughs> so you can't help us at all. Do. You mean you come fight by yourself? Well, jaw. But what of your vow? Like, you help me empty the tomb, and it's like I get like a vacation, a punchcation. You acquired Saucer's personal quest. Oh, people have personal quests! Oh my god. 
So I don't want to do this right now because I want to go talk to the shapeshifter. All right. Yeah. Agreed. Done. We're heading for your tomb immediately. Uh, dude. Sazer smirked and walked away with leisure. Lorraine knew he wasn't going to leave for the tomb as quickly as she would have hoped. Perhaps he's right. We should take some time to recover from our trip up the mountain. Oh, we should have gone to our camp. Mm, yeah, and had a chat? Yeah. Seems we must. She was a woman who knew what she wanted and did not want to wait for it. Ooh. Okay, let's... Let's go to our camp. Camp! Fuck, this shit's getting crowded! Yeah, we know the, like, four people that are missing. Alright. And then we kiss. <laughs> that old man said you won many tournaments. What does he mean by that? Well, it means exactly what it sounds like. I've fought men in many combative tournaments for honor and glory. You should have seen the kind of tournaments I was part of. I've battled man, elves, wizard, elf, wizards, elf men, wizard man, and won. I train every waking moment and take every challenge presented to me. That's how I become the man I am today. There is no tournament in arms that I haven't won, so I was named Grimoire's Greatest Warrior, which is a really hard thing to say if you say it real slow. Which explains why you had high hopes for the Ember Blade. Yeah, I'm stronger than your Amazon mistress, but I still can't gain the sword's favor. It's, uh, real weird. Careful what you say. You may have more physical strength than Loren, but you will never be stronger-willed. Perhaps you misunderstood what it truly means to be great. Her eyes were on fire as they glared at each other. Uh... Another shooter? Hmm? That new elf, he, he shoots a bow too. A crossbow, I believe. Yeah, yeah. It's still all about accuracy, though. Though I know a bow is totally more difficult than his fancy machine. Ah, oh, yes, those famous, finely crafted, open crossbows. I wonder. He's, he'd probably disagree. Oh, of course he'd disagree. He thinks he's the best at everything. But I'll show him. I'm totally a better shot. Joking. We can joke. Look at those eyes. She's even smiling before we joke. Yep, yep. We'll joke about how bad a shot that elf is. Mm -hmm. Knock, knock. Uh, why? Why? <laughs> We're joking. Who's there? Bo. Bo who? Boning is basically all I've got in mind for most of my party members. <laughs> okay, I've got ten gold on Ray. You bet against me? Dude's an assassin. Nothing personal. Oh, it's personal, all right. I'll show you, too. Dora stretched her bowstring with a devious smile. Don't fucking do that to your bowstring. It's super bad for it. <laughs> um, well, I guess we go talk to... We go talk to Ray and watch him get shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like... Just, just like It starts to answer you, and it's just like eyes go blank for a minute, and you just see this arrow sticking out of the back of his skull. How exactly do you know Elder Druid Murph? Elder Druid... Right. Ah, mother was an elder druid. Murph. Maybe with time. So, you're siblings, but... But she's a ginger, aye. <laughs> I'm not really the son of a druid. Not sure I'd want to be either. Here in the forest as they do. It seems more of a burden than anything else. So, how did you come under Murph's mother's care? It ain't fucking slavery if, you ask, if, you, if you're asking that. And he gnashed his teeth while thinking about it. I said the dark elves murdered my parents and left me as a babe on the forest floor. Just like a wee elf bairn. That's... All kinds of evil. That's what dark elves are. Evil. Ah, I see we've found a new kind of racism. We should joke with this man as well. Yes. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Drow. Drow who? I, I'm i expecting a drought. Mm. It's weak, I know. I'm, I'm getting into the... I haven't found the groove yet on the knock-knock <laughs> jokes. I don't believe I've told one in, in, in like, well... Knock-knock. Who's there? Drow. Drow who? Drow, you glad I didn't say Empire? 
Ah, oh, it's terrible. <laughs> Here, right here. Well, this should be banished to the Everburn Mountains like all the other demons since they love flirting with them. Listen, Ray, if the gods didn't uh, sorry, want you sorry, to sorry. flirt with demons, they wouldn't make them so goddamn sexy. Uh, it's a little late, but knock knock. Who's there? Drow. Drow who? I'm drowning in your steely gaze. Ah! Look at those eyes. <laughs> God. <laughs> Non-stop knock-knock joke stream. I'm gonna be honest here and say you're not being entirely fair towards them. Perhaps, but what are they entirely fair to me? Answer me that. Well, no, fair. Yeah. Ray pursed his lips and studied Saren in silence. Forget this shite! Talking about dark elves is what on my temper, which is a cool expression. Yeah. I've never heard that before, but I super love it. It's I, It reminds me that that thing from Firefly, where Adam Baldwin's like, this is damaging my calm. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> uh, Karen. May I ask about who the man you are traveling with was? Karen locked up, but she managed to speak. He was Ryzen. Like, Karen has, like, super PTSD about this. Maybe fucking don't ask her any questions about it. Like, I don't, like, she doesn't even have post-trauma yet. She's still in the trauma. Yeah, she, like, she watched a bunch of lizard men murder her beloved that she threw away everything to be with. He was my private servant and a close companion. You loved him, didn't you? Yes, I will admit it. I loved him. I loved a man, and dearly. We gotta. Romance? We Gotta! Alright, let's take her in our arms. Love is a beautiful thing. You should cherish it wherever you find it. We're not gonna we're not going to romance Loren. We're going to romance her mom. Hells yeah. <clears throat> Karen looked up at Miss Saren's eyes, but she could only see her flaws. She could only see Rizum. My love for a man has been my greatest mistake. If I am ever cold to you, I apologize. You likely did not deserve it. This woman's dialogue is written by a dude who imagines that these are the things that his ex-girlfriend should say to him. But you must forgive me, for we cannot ever be close. My heart will not allow me that pleasure again. Which is why, as a lady elf, you, you can, can get it on. Yeah, I find that really interesting. That the, 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 That's the road they went to. It's like, like, as a lady elf, you can totally romance her. But, um... But yeah, you remind her too much of her dead... Of her of her, her dead lover to, to... Honestly, I dig it. Yeah. Karen turned from Saren completely. He was left with a hole in his chest that he hadn't deserved. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, somebody's like, my well, girlfriend something, something. But he cared too much for his queen and wished there was something he could have done to help, but he doubted there was anything at all. Yeah, and there's no, like, affection meter or anything. Yeah, all right. All right, who we got left? Um, um, we got Dwarfiden. Uh, and Draco, why don't we do yeah. Draco, yeah. and then we have Loren. What's this about you being a famous mage? Oh, why haven't you heard of me? Sorry, but I didn't know much outside of the Citadel. Hey, that... Sorry. Anyway, I'm probably exaggerating a bit as it is. I've been trying to make a name for myself, but I keep running, the, running into trouble. Trouble? Like what? I've not seen... Oh, wait. Oh, actually... Yeah, actually, Given context, I'm well aware, Jesus but I'm Christ, making yeah. conversation. Like not being able to actually go into cities and keep a job. Why can't... Oh, right, yes. I tried to minimize that. I really do. Everything else, though, it's only my fault. So you've been fired from several jobs because you messed up? More or less. I mean, it's hard to call lighting things on fire messing up. Romance. Don't worry, Draco. You've found your calling now. In my pants. My calling? Who's calling? With that set up, how could I turn you away? 
I mean, you found your purpose. A job you'll be really good at, so you won't be fired anymore. Listen, all I do in this job is fire things. I don't have a job right now. I wouldn't say that. You have a very important job right now. You are our fire mage, and you set my and you set my pants ablaze. Are you lying? Is that why your pants are on fire? Draco didn't respond. His cheeks did get brighter. I don't know what you've been trying to do before now, but I think this is what you should do from now on. I think if you check, that's a who, not a what. <laughs> you get tired of me. What? Sarah realized what he implied and felt embarrassed. He shuffled and looked away with a ner nervous laugh. I meant you should be a mercenary of some sort with other pe people. Oh. Disappointment in Draco's voice was oddly wounding. Saren hadn't thought much about the future, but he had never really considered Draco a part of it. <laughs> now he was thinking about it in great detail. It had its good sides and its bad sides. Plenty of bad sides. But also good sides. We'll see. Tight writing. That was consolation enough for Draco. <laughs> oh, damn! Draco now, easily son. wooed. Elf boys are easy. You're a merchant. What do you sell? Shit, son, you literally saw my wares on the side of that mountain. Things. What kind of things? You know, stuff. Give me something to work with here, man. I'm looking for a pickup line. All right, all right. I used to trade basic goods, but Dwarven Mead was selling real good. So I started carrying around mostly mead, and then I started drinking it. I make a lot of trips selling mead, if you must know. It's fucking mead time. I suppose you enjoy sampling it from time to time? Well, shit, yeah, I'm a dwarf, ain't I? Dwarf can't enjoy a little drink now and again? What's the world coming to? Listen, dwarves is famous for five things. Beards, gold, beer, mead, and beards. I ain't even mentioned axes. Your Majesty, if I may ask, now that we are traveling together, I would like to know what you expect of me. So basically, it's the same thing, only now you're less of a tool. What kind of question is this? Everything I need you for, that's what the servant is for. I, I, I see. Right, I was just, that was my clarification. Are still as your to... princess, even though I've left the Citadel? Yes, I was not doubting that at all, ma'am. It's just, I was assigned duty in the healer's quarters. I've... Not much experience in direct servitude with royalty. Yeah, well, it's basically the same thing that you've already been doing, only without the sexy bits, because... God. Uh, bro, bro. I don't have the will of mine to teach you your job. If I say something, do it. All of my slaves stood five paces away from me at all times. They did not look me in the eyes. Saren immediately averted his eyes and took several steps away. Loren evaluated him. Now, that looks odd when there's only one of you. You may stand closer. <laughs> that's really cute that's really cute I dig it someone thought about that and I liked it Saren shuffled back behind me when, when I'm not addressing you ah uh, yes thank you mistress a small victory for him to be allowed more intimacy with me <laughs> uh, perhaps when they came to know each other more Saren could stand with respect next to her this was also written by the same person who wrote um Karen's dialogue about someone that they have like a major crush on. This is like choice man baby stuff. Save our game. Save our game. Alright, so let's go talk to... Let's go talk to Lady in the Swamp and uh... And then we'll probably call for the night. Sounds good. Kambara's hot. Loren and Saren led the party through the murky waters of the unforgiving swamps. Why the hell we come back here anyway? My nose is about to fall off from this goddamn stink. Last time, dwarf, to seek out the shapeshifter. What dwarf is exactly perfume either? They wound up in front of Kambara's hut for the second time. Just like before, it showed no signs of being lived in. I'll go first. Saren knocked on the door, but no one answered. Eventually, he pushed it open. The inside was just as luxurious as when they'd last found it. But Kambara was nowhere in sight. Where is she? She shapeshifted again. Chambara, we're friends. We just came to talk. 
Everyone was silent as they eyed every insect, chair, and candlestick. I swear we didn't bring the fucking wizard. But nothing seemed out of the ordinary. Which, are you here? Maybe she actually isn't here this time. She can teleport. There's still no response from anything. The continuing silence proved that indeed the house was empty. The party had no other way of contacting her. God, this was a waste of time. Let's go. The party piled out of the house and back into the muggy swamp. Hold on! There are two sets of footprints going off in that direction. Ray pointed out the tracks on the ground where the party had not walked. But who was the second person? She clearly can't have friends or relations. To be fair, she doesn't appear to have a, be a person with any interest in friends. She's walking with God. Loren pulled out her sword and followed the footsteps. Well, let's find out. As they hunted for signs of uh, Kambara, they picked up the scent of a campfire and followed it deep into the marsh. After some time, they finally found a campsite ahead in the trees. They could even hear a voice. Now, now, be nice, sugar. Oh, no, Oh my cowboy. god, it's fucking Vash the Stampede! <laughs> there was a man... Aw, oh, y'all. No, he's, he doesn't have a dwarven accent. I... I dig. I mean, I, I, I hope. I feel this guy's got to join our party, right? I hope so. Look at the art, um, I, and especially with question mark name. Yeah, there's um, a man clad in unusual clothing and an enormous sword slung across his back. They crept close as silently as they could. He appeared to be tending to a pet snake in a in a pet cage, but the snake was hissing at him. You're gonna have to do better than that to scare me. Oh, no, I dig it. The like, no, the, no, the, the, the like McCree, like. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Yeah, no, I dig it. All right. Alright. The snake morphed into a giant scorpion. It instantly knew that it was Kambara and this man had captured her. With the witch hunter. You've already done that one, okay? Tsk, tsk, tsk. Use your imagination. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the visage of Kambara finally appeared. She pounced on the cage's bars in anger. When they get out. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill people you know. I'm going to kill people they know. By then, Loren was directly behind the man with her sword nearing his neck. Let her go. He turned around lazily, looked Loren up and down, and then adjusted his hat, which you'll notice is not a cowboy hat. It's a fedora. Lose your way, gorgeous. I believe it's Milady. <clears throat> Loren made an inhuman sound. <laughs> Saren quickly stepped to her side. <clears throat> You're in possession of our friend, and you will let her go right now. Can do this on my own, please. Please to go away now. Quiet, shapeshifter. You'll accept our help and like it. Whoa, no. This wily thing is mine. I captured her fair and square. She wasn't hurting no one. Let it go. Her types are a crime against nature. I'm just doing everyone a favor. So why don't y'all just turn around and head on home? Everyone spread out and surrounded the witch hunter. After a brief staring contest, he realized he was considerably outnumbered. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? Just my luck. I looked back at the cage and winked at Kambara. Don't worry, honey. We'll meet again. Laura heaved to emphasize how disgust she was, disgusted she was, but the man took no notice. I found his way quickly out of the campsite. He disappeared into the dark of the swamps. They moved to free her from the cage before they could reach it. She slipped out, out from the cage by herself. Loren and Saren blinked in surprise, and she's like, What? I can teleport. Why were you in that cage you if fuck. you could have escaped at any time you wanted? I told you to leave me alone. Had it under control. Is kink thing. Don't ask. It didn't even look like going there. everything was going according to plan on our side. I think people think they have power of you when they don't is best trick in book. Keeps them from finding out your real weaknesses. Of which I have none. It's over now. Why, who was that man and why did he have you locked up? You're joking, right? He's a witch hunter. He's a shitty witch hunter. He's one who's been chasing me for years. Name is Raven. Seriously, this is name. 
This is his name. We give him. He, 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 I ask him, and he says, "My name is Raven," and I laugh with him, and he still comes after me. I just no. I I just he says, "My name is Raven," and then I laugh this, lots. That is how it gets me engaged, actually. <laughs> forget him. Why are you? Why, why are you here? I want my swamp back. Go away. <laughs> I love her so much. <laughs> this is the. This is the the iconoclast character that refused, like like the the player who's like, oh you wanted me to do this, oh, no. Yeah, give me a, give me a reason. That's not a good enough reason. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm the loniest wolf, and I am happy just playing on my phone. No, because it's not even the because the loniest wolf needs to hang out with people to be the loniest wolf. This isn't even the loniest wolf. This is the character that that's like that's like oh maybe like like well are you gonna help us with the thing maybe <laughs> I can teleport I'll show up if I need to yeah like <laughs> you sound like a bunch of jackasses yeah. I've got teleport if it matters I'll be there come back here we need to speak with you she didn't stop or even slow so Loren was forced to run after her and talk while walking please I'd, I'd like you to fight my army no I gritted her teeth unsure how to deal with such a response. People rarely refuse her much. You saved your life. Uh, no. You saved my what? The world is at war, and we need you to fight. But explain to me why I care. This war is going to affect you, too. You thought the witch hunters would stop, but they clearly haven't. There's no reason for you to do nothing anymore. Uh, you think you're so smart. Don't forget your precious empire and your elves would burn me at the stake just as soon as them. They would both brand her as evil. Even if she accepts, we would have to face that. But she's not evil. She helped me find my mother. So even, sort of, in an abstract kind of way. And and actually not, not really much at all. But she well, has a sweet right. fashion sense that... Evil. I'm evil. He's fine. It does not matter what you are. You will be dead if you do not fight. Fight with us and fight with us, and we will protect you. Come her aside and cross her arms. You're annoying in jet cases. But we don't wish you any harm. Fine. I choose to be hogtied or nagged to death. I choose the lesser evil, which. I will admit, as an evil person who does a lot of dark magic, lesser evil, not the most popular evil around here. <laughs> he's, he's often the other way around. Appreciate the stretch I'm making here. <laughs> Good. Under one condition. Alright, what is it? I have to get rid of Raven for me. Those are my houses and no witch hunters get to know that and walk away. You know, like you completely let him do. We should be able to do that, mistress. Yes, we agree. Great. <laughs> You've acquired Kambara's personal quest. Sweet. Defeat the witch hunter Raven and Lothark to convince Kambara to join. Kambara begrudgingly joined the group as they left the swamp. So Ren promised that they would be, she would be protected from anyone who sought to hurt her, even allies. Her magic would prove too useful and her knowledge too vital. And the best way to find an enemy is to know all about them. So she joined our team anyway? No. No. She's walking with us but won't fight with us until but, we beat but up. But won't dude. join our team until we beat, we beat up the dude. Which, who's in Lothark? Which is somewhere else. Yeah, so we got Lothark and Tomb of Twilight down there for uh, Shaw. But I think, yeah, that'll wrap us for the night. That, yeah, that's good for the night. Oh, man. So, we're only in Chapter 2 of this game. <laughs> and for all that it's terrible, it's actually starting to get kind of good. No, there, there like, are... I don't know if I'm developing, like, Helsinki Syndrome or something. Yeah, like, there's there are there are parts of this that are really good and interesting. There are other parts that are not, <laughs> but... Oh, man. All right? Oh. No, no, okay. Everything. Where we are. Nothing. Okay, that makes much more sense. Now that there's enough on the map to make that clear. Yeah. 
Current location, empty. I mean, weird, but sure. Well, we don't want to miss any other sweet-ass art. Fair. Oh, man. Yeah, no, I, I am, I'm interested in this. Yeah, there's all kinds of, like, cool-ass D&D-style lessons that come out of this, too. But, that's it for tonight. All right.